Hello traders and welcome to another video review of the altcoin of the week. Today is Friday, October 6, 2023. Let's take a look at the Solana to Tether daily time frame chart, Zonda Crypto Exchange. And as you can see, I'm using the Japanese candlesticks and I'm using the 200 and 100 moving average and RSI with the standard settings. What do we have here? We choose the Solana, the altcoin of the week, because during the last week it's been moving extensively to the upside until it hit extremely overbought market conditions again. So the local high was made at 24.39 tethers. So that's a very nice uh, movement to the upside. Uh, we will see um, right now how much exactly um, this movement was let me take the uh, price range uh, data here and i think it will be roughly over 15 percent or something like this it's even more it's even more because it's right now 20 trying to find out the high let me just zoom in <laughs> because i can't find the high right now and uh, there's uh, roughly around 20 i guess one yes 27 27 percent so uh, that was the, uh, I think that was the last week, uh, 26th of the, of the September last week. So we got roughly around 27, 28, 29. So from the beginning of this, uh, uh, of the, the last week and, uh, and uh, this week, so the last week of the September, first week of the October, we went 27% to the upside right i think it's even more because there's one quote that we missed 29 percent not too bad for like a uh, two weeks of the uh, of the trading isn't it so okay so we have this sorted out let me just go back to my to my old view of the uh, of the chart so what i want to show you guys is basically this situation uh here we have a bullish cross uh, nevertheless those moving averages are quite close together but 100 is is on the uh, is still above the 200 periods moving average so that's okay we have a 29 percent movement last uh, last week and just just from the lows of the uh, beginning of the September 10th of the September 6th of the uh, uh, October 35 percent up move nice very nice up move on the uh, on the Solana uh, so mm, with this up move we got that kind of a trend line violation right so we got this sort of the trend line here maybe here there you go we have a trend line violation which is fine let me just find the, uh, the support so we got the support 17.70 uh, that's the first support so it's support so it's green um, we got one more uh, support at least a little bit lower uh, which is much more important a uh, support 13.17 and the newest uh, technical support is located here at 20.47 uh, where are the technical resistances then there is of course this one 30.26 let me just grab it correctly there you go so it's a resistance so it's red but just below this resistance we got a couple of levels uh, that were intensively tested uh, previously basically at the beginning of the year the first quarter of the year this is the period when the market tested 26.80 uh, level and this level will be as well the next uh target for the uh, for the bulls uh, whatsoever so we got extremely overbought market conditions it's time for a pullback we cannot go below this level here you know, because that's the technical support we want this technical support you know, to be uh, apparently unviolated so what we want to see for the uptrend continuation or the breakout continuation or the basically kind of a uh, upward pullback continuation for now maybe not the up, uptrend but upward pullback continuation is this kind of a um, uh, movement on the um on the solana so some sort of the of course um correction is needed and then 
movement back towards this highs at the 30 uh, tethers. So that's the um, current scenario based on the current price behavior, based on the fact that we run uh, 30 over 35 percent from the lows of the uh, of the um, uh, September. And there's one more interesting thing I would like to point out. Let me just find my parallel channel tool because I, I might be wrong, but I think I've just found out something something here that might be uh, valuable as well so we might be trading inside of this channel no that's that's too much thank you very much oh there you go so we might be trending inside of this uh, this channel um, as well let me just uh, see if i can show you guys the middle line because it might be quite important as well so there you go that's the middle line and if we break above the middle line we will go to the upper half of the channel and that's always even more bullish right so that's another uh, very good uh, example of the possible bullish development to the outside uh, it looks like from the lows of this year uh, it's even last year well that's the last day of the last year 8.07 tethers <laughs> basically so from the lows uh, of the last year uh, and this year of course now we are uh, we've made the highs at 30 tethers we pulled back and now it looks like the market is trying to move way 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 higher uh, uh, first towards 26.70 uh, and then towards the level of 30 which is the uh, yearly low if this level is tested then eventually eventually um, the level of uh, uh, 38 uh, 68 basically will be tested next Solana is looking good. Solana is looking mm, bullish and more bullish confirmation will be available after the breakout above the uh, technical um, resistances, horizontal technical resistances, uh, as you can see them on the chart uh, right now. That's my analysis of the Solana to Tether on Zonda Crypto. Thank you very much for watching this analysis and I hope I see you guys next time. So take care and bye bye.